everybody! My name is Otter and I am the camp director of Camp Wanaka at Girl Scout San Diego and we are kicking off this festive season with some holiday themed videos! And so today all of us we're going to be making salt dough ornaments together. There's a couple things that you'll need. So when it comes to the tools the things you'll need is a mixing bowl. You just need one of them. You'll need a rolling pin or something that you can roll stuff with. You'll need a mixing spoon or just a regular spoon. We're going to stir up some ingredients together and you'll need something to cut the dough out with. So if you want a circle shape you can use a jar that you have or maybe you have a cookie cutter at home and you could also use the lid to a mason jar. That one works really well as well. And if you want to decorate the dough that we're going to be making with different designs you could use a fork or maybe something else that would leave a really cool print on the dough you're about to make. And you'll need some parchment paper. It makes rolling the dough out a bit easier and you'll see in just a few moments here. Okay and to make this dough ornament you only need three ingredients. Lucky us, that's not very many. So you're going to take a bowl and the first ingredient you're going to put in your bowl is two cups of flour, right? Two cups of flour. So we're going to put that in there. Oh, a lot of flour. All right, flour's in there. Next, you're going to put half a cup of salt. So we're going to grab our half cup of salt, put that in there, and you're going to go ahead and mix these dry ingredients first. So we're going to mix, 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 mix it all together. Mixing, mixing. That seems good to me. All right, and the next thing you're going to add is three-fourths cup of warm water. Let's make sure it's warm water. You're going to put that in. And you're going to mix this until all that liquidy stuff, until it gets all absorbed. You're going to get this dough-like consistency. Okay, Whew. this, this is the kind of dough we're looking for here, everybody. Ooh, bit sticky. Be warned, everybody. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is, ooh, put, that over here. put down your parchment paper on your table, and then you're going to put that dough down. So we're going to, whoop. There's our dough. On our parchment paper here. Try to get some of that off. Ooh, sticky. And you're gonna stick another piece of parchment paper on top. Okay, squishing it down. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna roll it with a rolling pin. Alright. Uh-oh, I think it's going to roll past my parchment paper here. Ooh, maybe make a, your parchment paper pretty big so it doesn't end up on your table. Alright, and so now I've got kind of an evenly spread out dough here. You can kind of squish it down with your hands as well. And then there, there's our dough all squished out. So what you can do is you can use your cookie cutters now to cut up some shapes. Something that I really wanted to do this season is I wanted to make animal print ornaments. And so the first animal that I'm going to try to get and come over here to put their little paw print on is my dog Kai. So she's going to stick her little paw and I recommend if you're going to do hand prints or animal prints to have your animal stick their paw on the dough first and then cut a circle around that instead of doing the circle first because the dough kind of spreads out. So let's try and go get Kai. She's under the table. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Okay. You're going to try and put your paw on this dough here. Ready? All right. She's going to stick her little paw. No, don't eat it! 
Ooh, so cute. Good job, Kai. You made such an excellent paw print. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut it out using kind of see it. When you bake it, you'll see it a bit more, but look, you can see her little paw. It's so cute. And when this is done, when it's baked, you can paint around it so you can see that print a bit better. What you're gonna do next is you need a hole at the top of this ornament, and so at the top, you're gonna put, poke a little hole, you can use a straw or something that you've got that's small and round, and poke it out. You can tell there's a hole there. And that is where you're gonna put some kind of ribbon or string, whatever you have at home, and you'll put it through there after it's done baking and it's set. And that's how you're gonna hang it on your tree. All right, there's one other animal that I know I wanna get a print of this season, and that is one of my ducks. So this one may be a little bit more tricky, but we'll see if we can do it. So I'm gonna go and try and get one of my ducks right now. So this is my duck, Lucy. She's a magpie and we love her because she lays wonderful eggs. And just like with chicken eggs, you can eat duck eggs too. And so she is going to put her little, little, okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, Lucy, will you put your little, <gasps> yay, good job, Lucy. <gasps> That's beautiful and for that, I'm gonna give her a little treat. You wanna know something that ducks like to eat? They like to eat worms, but don't worry, they're already dry. Look, oh, she loves them. Hey, good job, Lucy. All right, I'm gonna go put her back outside now. Okay, and now, once you have cut out all of the designs that you would like to make out of your dough, maybe you decided to use one of your cookie cutters, or used a fork to make really cool designs around the side, or you put your initials or your name in some of that dough, your next step is going to put them on a cookie sheet. I've got a cookie sheet around here somewhere. Ah, cookie sheet, okay. So, you'll take your salt dough ornament, you're gonna put it on a cookie sheet, and you're gonna put that in the oven at 300 degrees for a whole hour, all right? And they're gonna bake in there. And when you're done, you can paint them. And when they're all dried and done painted, you'll put your ribbon at the top and you'll hang it on your tree. And there you've got a salt dough ornament. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. And if you would love to show off your ornaments or you made some paw print ornaments yourself, we would love to see those. So you can email them to media, so M-E-D-I-A, at sdgirlscouts.org. We would love to see the ornaments that you make this holiday season. Bye everybody, see you next time.